Okay, welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be doing a Design Spark mechanical tutorial. Earlier I had created a Turkish wolf, a wolf dog collar, and I thought it would be kind of cool to make another one. That was a, the one that I did earlier was kind of a basic collar, and I thought it would be cool to do one that's a little bit more detailed with a little bit more spikes. So we're going to go ahead and uh, open up Design Spark mechanical. Sorry if you can hear that. Uh, clunky noise uh, doing the laundry right now so hopefully it doesn't come through too bad so we'll go ahead and go to file create a new new design then we're going to go to the plan view by clicking that eye icon I'm going to do this similar to the size I did before <clears throat> so we'll do 100 millimeter then the middle circle is going to be 90, 90, uh, 95 should be thick enough Okay, let's control minus. Now we're going to put a little square in here to cut this out. Uh, so we'll get our uh, square tool. And then we'll just come from here over 20. Should be good. Now we're going to go ahead and get our trim away tool right there at the T and just get rid of these little middle pieces. Okay, let's go to 3D mode by clicking that bottom one there. Let's go to our modes. Let's go to trimetric. Go ahead and go to pool. We're going to select this. Come over here and go to the uh, double, arrow, double arrows. Pull from both sides. Now we're going to do this. Let's do 20 millimeters because I'm going to add some extra spikes on there. Now we want to go to pool. Let's pull this. Last time I did four, so let's just do it a little bit more more of a uh, curve. Let's do seven. Just select the line on the bottom. Seven and the enter. And we're going to spin that. Let's go to pull. Let's select that line right there. Type seven, enter, and then select the one on the bottom. Just the line. Hit seven and enter. And then we're going to put our little holes right here, and then do our spikes. So I was thinking. We'll go ahead and do the holes later, but we'll go back to the top view here. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is click on that face there. We're going to insert a plane, and then we'll go ahead and spin. I want this plane to be in the middle, so what we're going to do is go move. We're going to grab that blue, and then we'll just type uh, 10. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. Undo that. Do minus 10, because we want to... We want it to be halfway in the middle. So we're going to go ahead and do like that. Then we'll go to select. And then we'll, with this plane selected, we're going to hit the plan view. And okay, now we're going to do control minus. Actually, do a control plus and then just kind of pan down a little bit. And we're going to put our p pattern in here now. So we'll go ahead and get our line tool. So what I want first is. We'll click there and then we'll drag up. I want a, a 12 mil. Well, let's go 13 millimeter up there. Then I'm going to go. We can go ahead and make this a mirror line. Let's go set as mirror. And then we're going to go. Um, let's see here. Let's zoom in, control plus, and then let's pan down. Get the line tool. Okay, now we'll come out one millimeter and then we're going to drop down. So this is going to be our first spike. Let's come down into the middle here and then just come over. All right, that's going to be our first one. And then the second one we're going to do is going to, since we have a mirror here, this is just going to come out and over. So we're going to click somewhere over here. And then we're going to come about to here and then just kind of flare this over a little bit. Okay, right that, like that. So this is going to be like this. Okay. And then uh, what I want to do is just go ahead and use the offset. And we'll offset one millimeter that way, one millimeter this way. 
do the one millimeter on each of these. Okay, now there's going to be some openings there, but don't worry about that. We're going to make those pointed, so just go ahead and get rid of these ones that we just offset it. Probably didn't even need to do that. Now we're going to get the line tool. We're going to go from the end there to the end there, and then end there to end there. Okay, so now we have these kind of pointed. This one's kind of a square. So now let's go ahead and get rid of these. You hold down the control key. Let's get rid of all those. Now I want to go ahead and um, add some. Just go come to the middle of these. Come over here and then just come up. They don't have to be perfect. I just want them to be kind of inside of here before I do the rotate. And then I want to make that a little bit sharper. So let's go ahead and get our line tool. We'll come to the middle there and just drag down like this. Select the click off. Let's grab our trim tool. I'm just going to go ahead and trim. And then get rid of that mirror line. Okay, so this is going to be our pattern. And then I'm going to control minus to zoom out. And let's go ahead and pan this. Now we'll go ahead and go to the 3D mode. Since these are going to be in the center. Oh, they should be in the center. I guess I wasn't drawing on the uh, on the right plane. So we're going to go ahead and select these, and then we're going to go move up to up to this plane. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I want to move. Sorry, should have gone to the move. Then we're going to go move up to here. All right. So that's going to be our pattern, and then we'll just get rid of these. I guess I didn't even need to go into, come down into that part. We could have just uh, got rid of those. Okay, so now Control minus. Now we're going to add some thickness to these. So let's go ahead and hold down Control, select all of them. Now we're going to go pull. Come over here to the double-sided arrow, pull from both sides. And then we're going to add. We're not going to add a big thickness to these because I want to actually rotate two of them. So let's go. Two millimeters. So just go type in two there. And then we want to go no merge on these. And then hit the select. It looks like I probably should have done it before I extruded. Let's undo that. Sorry about that. Get back to before you extrude. Come over here to the no merge. Now select these. Hold down control. Then go um, pull from both sides type in two. Now there's a reason we don't want these to uh, merge together is because we want to rotate these two and it's easier to select from the tree over here than it would be any other way. So now we're going to go ahead and um, select these this one and this one. So hold down control key and then we're going to go ahead and uh, go to the move and then we're going to move by holding down the control key we're going to grab that green and we're going to rotate 90 degrees and let go okay, so now we have a kind of this style of pattern and the only thing I'm going to have to do is move the move these in but that's that's easy to do so we're going to go ahead and um, let's find that this one select let's go to move grab that blue and let's just move it in a decent amount to three millimeters. We'll go three. Now we gotta find this one. Okay, right there. So select, grab that, and move it in. Type in three. Okay, so this is pretty much the pattern that I want. So there's more spikes. And if the dog tries, the wolf tries to bite, there'll be more spikes that will be protecting the dog. Okay, so now we want to go ahead and um, select all of these. So just go ahead and hold down Control key. Get all of these. Okay, now we're going to go to move. We're going to move. We're going to create a pattern. We're going to drag this down to the center here. Then we're going to grab that uh, blue 
and we're going to rotate it. Rotate it around. Okay, now it's got seven for the count, so I think we can add a couple more. So let's just do like, let's try nine there. Um, yeah, nine might be good. And then go ahead and select the click off. I'm going to get rid of this plane, so just select it and hit delete. Okay, so here's our, here's our, okay, this one came, we're going to have to actually move these over a little bit. No problem there. Or we can just get rid of a, We'll just get rid of this this uh, little spike here. We don't need it this close to the collar. So I'm going to go undo. We did nine, so let's do two undos. And instead of nine, we're just going to put eight in there. Eight's going to be good enough. And then select, click off. Now we should have enough room. When I spin this, there should be enough room for the uh, the holes. And then we can get rid of this this one. So we have a total of seven, seven spikes. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to come over here. We're going to drag a mark here around these. We're going to right mouse click, come up here to, uh, I guess I have to do them individually. So what you have to do is multiple click on one of them and then come up here to make independent. And then you'll have to do the same on these multiple click. Okay, so now we can get rid of these. Just a uh, multiple click till they're selected and then get rid of them. Okay, now I can get rid of this uh, plane here. All right, well, let's go ahead and spin this. So this is gonna be our, our new wolf collar with these uh, serious spikes here. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and go view from the top. Actually, let's view this from the front. Okay, now we're going to put a couple of holes here. So to do that, we're going to get our line tool. Just going to put a... I think I might need to draw a plane there. Let's undo that. Let's go to front view. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's get rid of this. We don't need that plane. Now we're going to go ahead and insert a plane there. Click right there. All right, let's go ahead and spin that to see where that's at. Okay, that's in the back. So I really wanted that to be in the front. So I'm going to get rid of that plane. We'll go to go to the plane here. And then we're going to come in here click the green the Y I'm gonna to go to move we're gonna click on that plane we're gonna grab that blue back there and just move this forward just move it forward till you don't see the plane anymore right to there and then we'll go to plan view click off of that we're gonna grab a line go from here down straight down Select the click off. Now we're going to go right mouse click on that. Set as mirror. Going to grab our hole. Then we're going to put one, two of them in here. I want to make these a little bit bigger. We'll make these five millimeters. And then we're going to go ahead and select the click off and get rid of this mirror line. Let's go ahead and go to the 3D mode. And we're going to go ahead and spin this. Let's grab these. Hold on the control key. We're going to come over here to cut, and then we're going to pull them straight through. All right, let's go to the isometric view. Get rid of that plane. Okay, so basically this is going to be our dog wolf collar. A little bit, uh, a little bit more dangerous looking. And this is going to uh, protect the dog's neck from a wolf attack. And then you'll be able to pinch these sides together and then uh, put a, a carabiner through there or put a round loop and then you can put a carabiner onto that. The only other thing I'm going to do is what I did last time. Let's go ahead and add a multiple click there. Let's add a chamfer or fill it. 0 0.47. We'll do one here. Multiple click type 0 0.47. 
<clears throat> then I want to put one in here, 0 0.4, and then put one here. Okay, now spin this to the back. Let's go to pull and type 0 0.4 there. And then type 0 0.4 here. Okay, this is going to end our dog collar, or actually wolf dog collar. Not really going to do anything with these spikes. Uh, they're pretty jagged as they are. Um, I like that we have uh, five of them. And those are rotated around. You can pretty much put any pattern you want in here. Um, don't necessarily have to uh, make this out of... Uh, well, I mean, if you really were going to do one of these, you'd obviously have to print it in metal. And that would be pretty expensive. Powdered aluminum or powdered uh, stainless steel. And... Um, this, it would be actually easier to make one of these, you know, just manually. This little strip could be cut out of leather, and then you could punch a hole, punch, get a hole punch to punch these out, and then you could just hammer nails through, you know, through the through the side there. Maybe put a glue a um, a lining down so the nails don't come back out. But yeah, this is just for uh, kind of demonstration purpose. But if you did want to make one of these, definitely would be easier to uh, make this manually. A uh, good strip of piece of uh, thick leather. You could even put some rivets in here. Uh, so you could hold the carabiner without the leather ripping. All right, well, that's going to end today's tutorial on the second wolf collar. Hopefully you enjoyed watching and you got some useful tips out of this video. Thanks again for watching.